In this video, we are going to learn how to solve some of arithmetic progression with a Casio calculator, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve problems involving some of arithmetic progression for multiple choice questions using the Casio calculator. So, ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. Okay, now let's begin. Let's look at the question I have here this typical question and solve it together. So after solving this one, you can use the idea or the solution I'll show you here to solve other some of arithmetic progression questions you will see in your exams on your tests, any test you are writing. So it's important you get the idea first so I can replicate others. So the question here says the system of an AP is 12. And the target time is 180. Calculate the sum of the first 60 times. Okay. Let's get the Casio calculator. Very, very simple, guys. Now, know that this is a continuation of my first video on arithmetic progression where I showed you guys how you can get your end time, how you can get your common difference and the number of times so if, if you haven't watched that video ensure you check the description of this video below i'll put a link there make sure you watch it so that you will get the full information okay so having known that let's go ahead and solve this the first thing i have to do which i always say is to clear very important here i calculate to clear i press shift button i for instruction press three press record and then press record again so Having done this, let's go ahead and solve this. Arithmetic progression is all about statistics. Okay, so we are going to work with uh, statistics mode. Go to mode. Okay, so under mode, go to start, which is option 3. You press 3, category 3. Now, once you get here, very important, once you miss it here, you will miss the whole thing so it's very important you get this right here the right option you will use for arithmetic progression is option two any other option apart from option two will give you something else the wrong value so you press option two so let's impute our s values will be the time we have so we have six and thirty time in equation so you put six first in order is before the thirty so we have six then 30 then go back to y value so at the y value was the system the system is 12 so we put 12 for equal to and it will enter there was the 30th time so the 30th time is 180 so you put 180 there it will enter so note that as you are including the values the calculator is automatically storing the values so once you are done, like in this example we are using, we are done in the values, we have a question. So all you simply have to do now is having known that the calculator has stored the value as you as we are rather imputing them. So let's press AC to wipe out. So the values are not gonna they are still in this calculator. So as we are imputing the calculator, so notice of them, so the calculator stored them automatically. So now having done that let's go ahead and find um what we asked to find the sum of the first 60 times so to get a sum summation then that's in mathematical statistics sigma stands for summation so to bring that sigma the first shift this button log this log button you press it and sigma will come out so once you press sigma and shift shift log for sigma to come out then it puts x to bring out x, you press alpha x to come out. Then once I've done this, there is a symbol we need. And to bring out that symbol, we press shift button one to go to that start. When you can button one close, you see start with on top of three. You press shift button one. Then you go to regression option five. Then this is the symbol we're looking for. This symbol five. The symbol we are looking for is what we are going to use to um, ensure we get the sum, the correct answer. So 
ensure you take note of this symbol if you use any other symbol you don't get the right answer so you press option 5 this particular symbol to come out so once you have done you press comma to add comma to this thing you are typing you press shift this button you, you would press to get x if you want to bring out as you press alpha x but this might press shift the button comma come out so we have to find calculate the sum of the first 60 um so the first 60 so first you press one press come again shift this button then 60. and do you we are asked to find the sum of the first 80 times what, what, what you simply do is change this system put 80. if you ask some of the first 100 times change the 60 and put 100 some of the first 30 change the system put 30 in that order in that sequence hope you understand what i'm saying i hope you you do so having gotten what i say let's put close the bracket then first we call to get our answer it's as simple as that guys very simple so you call to and see this one the first 60 times okay so guys this is some of our first 60 times what is this 11 thousand and words and so guys this is basically how you can solve problems we can cancel calculator for some of arithmetic progression i hope you got value you learned something very, very interesting in this video so if you are new to our channel share subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i have just explained or thought in this class feel free to leave your question in the comment section below i'm sure to give you a response so guys, don't forget to check the first video of this continuation that's my first video on this i20 progression cash back letter yeah you learn how to find end time you learn how to find the number of time you commonly find for i20 progression and you will be glad you did so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video